Hi, I'm Natalia Levy and I'm thrilled to be chatting with you today via this YouTube channel. I am hoping that you are having a phenomenal day and today is even going to get better for you because I will be sharing my five tips to take your roasting skills to a whole different level. So you ready for that? Well, before we actually begin and get to the tips, let's talk about what actually roasting is. So roasting or baking is a process of surrounding food with dry, heated air in an enclosed environment. Uh, roasting and baking are pretty much the same thing, it just depends on what you're cooking. So you can bake a cake, bake cookies, or you can roast vegetables, you can roast your pot roast or roasted chicken. You are doing the same exact thing, it's the same process that happens inside your oven. Okay? And are you ready for the tips? Here we go. Tip number one. Use really good quality baking sheets. You know sometimes when you get those like Teflon sheets and you put them on high temperature inside the oven. Now for cookies you usually don't use super high temperature but for vegetables you typically roast vegetables about 400 to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. So for vegetables, I'd recommend going to your local restaurant supply store and getting like this more of a heavy duty baking sheet. And now another tip within a tip while we are on the sheet topic, you use parchment paper on the bottom of the baking sheet under your vegetables or under your chicken or under any kind of sheet pan meals that you're going to be creating. Because parchment paper prevents the foods from sticking to your pan. So there you go, heavy duty pan and parchment paper. Tip number one. Moving on to tip number two. This still pertains mostly to vegetables when cutting your vegetables. Make sure that they are all in fairly uniform shapes and sizes so that they roast at the same time. So we can't use half of the eggplant that we can make some kind of eggplant caviar or dip with and these little Brussels sprouts. So we cannot put everything that you see on this platter at the same time on the same pan because it's just not going to roast evenly. So what we're gonna do is we're going to Cut everything up to uniform size and put it on the pan. But once it's on the pan, once the veggies are on the pan, and you'll see that in just one second, you want to make sure to space them out because if the vegetables or if your items are super crowded on the pan, they're not going to get crispy. So be right back in just one second. All right. So now that we have all of our veggies cut up in uniform sizes, we move on to tip number three. And tip number three is be generous with your sauces, marinades, seasonings, because when you roast, when you have things cooking in the oven, all the flavors, they just get infused and they become so delicious. So I have a whole bunch of vegetables cut up here, put some bunch of olive oil in there, put a little bit of balsamic, I love balsamic roasted veggies. So good. Put a whole bunch of seasonings in. You can put some good Italian seasonings in here. Some salt. Close all of this together. And next we'll put it on the pan. And if you remember in my tip number two, we don't want to overcrowd the pan. Because we want all these veggies to roast evenly and beautifully. So always make sure to spread this evenly in the pan. And the flavor is going to be amazing. So now that I have all of these done, this is going to go in the oven at 425 degrees. There you go. You didn't even expect to get a recipe as part of this video. So these are going to go in my oven at 425 degrees. And I'm going to start checking it after about 
15, 20 minutes or so. It's gonna be part of my dinner tonight. I hope you're getting hungry. We are moving on, or we have already arrived to dinner before. So this tip is more for meats and poultry, but it will also help when you are roasting your vegetables as well. Make sure that your oven is calibrated. Have you ever read the recipe or listened to somebody describe a certain recipe and it says oven temperatures vary? That is true. If your oven is not calibrated, you may end up with a dry out or a charred piece of meat or underbaked or overbaked cake or anything like that. We don't want to have that happen. So what I recommend is buying a separate oven thermometer and putting it inside your oven and then seeing is there a variance in the temperature that the oven is actually showing to you to the temperature that shows up on that thermometer. And if needed, you can call in professional appliance repair person to recalibrate your oven. And the final tip, tip number five, is also in regards to your meats or poultry. Make sure that you let your meat rest on the counter for up to an hour before it goes into the oven. Because if it goes straight from the fridge and into the oven, you are going to end up with a piece of meat that is overcooked on the outside and really dry on the inside. And it's just, it's not gonna be delicious. It's not gonna be moist. So make sure that you let your meats rest for at least 10 to 15 minutes before they go into the oven. Now those are my five top tips. I hope that you find them super helpful. Again, remember to use a commercial quality pan, use parchment paper, cut your veggies to uniform size before roasting, spread them out in the pan evenly, make sure that you use a variety of seasonings and marinades, get your oven calibrated, and let your proteins, protein meats rest before you put them in the oven. Hope you find these tips helpful. They will definitely take, take your roasting skills to the next level. It's been my pleasure being with you today. Give this video a like, comment. Do you have any tips that could help other people? No. Put your comments below. I cannot wait to see you in the next video and live a deliciously healthy life.